Hey guys, welcome to one of France's TCB Inuit trains. Um, we're going from Paris to Nice for about five or six hours. This train is about to be our home for the next six hours. I'm going to let you know all you need to know about the boarding process, where to put your luggage, the chairs, the Wi-Fi, the food, and of course the bathrooms on this lovely home away from home on rails. All aboard! Good morning! We're waiting for our Uber to take us to the Gare de Lyon so we can get on the train and unfortunately say goodbye to Paris and hello to Nice! Paris was of course so amazing, but it's time to move on to the next leg of our trip. Instead of Uber, we actually ended up taking the metro, which we found to just be much more reliable. And then once we got to hall one for our train, we saw that our platform hadn't actually been announced. So everyone else on our train was standing right where we were in a big mob of people, just waiting for our platform to be announced. Once the platform was announced, we all moved as one giant mob to board our train. We cut it pretty close. It looks like we made it. We made it to our seats. We have like six hours ahead of us. Once I boarded the train, I couldn't wait to put my luggage away. These signs above the seats were really handy in showing me exactly where I could put my luggage. And smaller items can be stored on the racks directly above the seat. Let's check out the different types of seat configurations. These two seats are situated very similar to an airplane. Two seats next to each other but with some added comforts, like this electronic adjustable seat. Pretty nifty. Power outlets right by your seats. And a footrest. There's also this configuration. Two seats facing each other with a table in between. The table expands for your convenience. There's also solo seats so you can have the table all to yourself. Once we were seated and situated, I was very excited to start looking out the window as we pulled away from the station. One of the main reasons that we decided to take the train from Paris to Nice instead of flying was so that we could just see more of the country, see kind of what lies between Paris and Nice. And it did not disappoint. There were so many different views. There were so many times where I would just like drop what I was doing and just stare outside the window. And if staring out the window isn't your thing, fear not, there's free Wi-Fi. It's really easy to connect to, pretty reliable, and if you do feel like it's dropping off, it at least tells you what the expected signal strength is so that you know if it's a problem on your device or if that's just what the expected signal is because you're going through a tunnel or something. Once you're connected to Wi-Fi, you'll be able to check your up-to-date itinerary, including any delays. Our train was a little bit delayed, so this was really helpful in helping us know exactly when we expected to arrive so that we could make arrangements accordingly. While you're on your device, it's also a really good idea to just go ahead and set an alarm a few minutes before your expected arrival time. That way, if you fall asleep or get sucked into a movie, you won't miss your stop. I also highly recommend, once you've booked your tickets before you even board, download the weed.sncf app. It's super, super helpful in laying out your itinerary for you, showing you your seat information, as well as acting as your ticket. It saves you having to print something or fish for something in your bag when they come to check for tickets. There's no limit to the amount of devices that you can connect, so feel free to connect your mobile device as well as your laptop. But of course, you don't have to stay seated for the whole train ride. You can move around. From so when you move from car to car, the first trick to learn is how to open the door. You don't just pull the handles, you actually have to press this green button in order to unlock the doors and then you can go through. It is so quiet in like the like seating areas. It's like everyone's very, very polite um, about making sure to like keep the noise level really low to the point where like you don't really even want to talk to the person next to you unless you're using like a really soft voice. So I definitely didn't want to do this in like the common area. So I'm like hanging out here at like the exit. <laughs> where I can just like be a little bit noisy. Um, I'm sure you can kind of hear the train in the background too. It's, it's, it's really going. So I just wanted to show you around the train, including bathrooms, eating area. There's so many things on a train. So let's head to the food train. In the food cart, you'll see a window where you can order your food. And of course, a big menu of all the food that they have to offer. Definitely better than the airplane food choices I'm used to. Once you've picked up your food, you have your choice of enjoying it right there in the food car with a nice view of the French countryside as you eat. But since I had to bring my food back to Charlie, I found out how to open this door again. Also, make sure to close it behind you. And then brought my food to my seat. I noticed a lot of people opted to take their food back to their seat. So I guess it's not considered rude to eat while in the main cabin. Let's see what we got. We got a burger for Charlie. The bread looks really fluffy and fresh. And you can see that the cheese was so melty that it stuck to its container. Not bad for trained food. 
I ordered this pastry that had a nice duck filling and like was really just nice and toasty and warm. While eating, we can again enjoy a view of the French countryside from the comfort of our seats. Anytime there's food and drinks involved, it's always a nice idea to check out how the bathroom looks. So let's see what we're in for. It's actually surprisingly like pretty clean in here and actually not ter terribly small. Maybe like on par with the airplane, I guess. But there's a lot of movement. Like everyone on the train is kind of like always stepping like side to side a little bit. There's a lot of movement and bounce on this train. Once we had boarded the train, figured out where to find our seat, where to put our luggage, how to get food, how to go to the bathroom, and of course, how to connect to Wi-Fi, the train ride really flew by and before we knew it, we had arrived at our destination. All right, that right there is the lovely Gare de Nice, which means we made it to Nice six hours later from Paris to Nice. We successfully took the train ride, got from point A to point B, and we arrived. I hope, hope, hope this video helps you. I wish you the safest and best of travels on your journey. Thanks, thanks for watching. See you next time. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channels to make sure that you don't miss out on any upcoming trips. If you're interested in seeing how the rest of our trip went or how the beginning of our trip went before we even got on this train, be sure to check out my Nice and Paris vlogs linked in the description below. See you next time!